Hey YouTube, back again with more collecting coin collecting videos. So today, um, I decided to um, show you um, my um, medieval, foreign, and um, uh, ancient Chinese coins. Um, I've, I don't know if I've said this before, but I collect any, any, pretty much any kind of form of coins and numismatics. I collect paper notes from the United States. Um, today, uh, notes, uh, foreign paper money, um, from, like, the 18th and 19th century. I collect, um, medieval coins, ancient Chinese coins, uh, early modern coins, ancient coins, Greek, Roman, all kinds of stuff like that. So, um, I'm just going to show you these right here, and we'll get started. So, um, this is how I actually set them up. I actually usually put them in flips. Then I, I, for instance, like this one right here, I'll tell which country it's from. It's from France. The person who uh, or, uh, that's attributed to, which is Francis I of France. Uh, the years that this was minted. Um, the composition, which is AR for silver. Um, the denomination, which is a Grand Blanc. Um, this does not have a, there's no mint mark, so I cannot determine where it's from. Um, and then there's the, the size of it, the diameter, and then there's the weight. And right here is uh, 108, that's just the page number that I have written down in my um, spiral for the actual uh, description on what's actually on the coin. So, um, so first I'll start off with Louis the Pious, who was the son of Charlemagne. It's kind of difficult to find these kind of coins, especially early medieval era. Uh, this is from 822 to 840, it's a denarius, or a denarius they called it. It's on the front of the cross in Ludovicus. Legend. And then there is on the back there is a um I believe it's like a church. Is it, it, he was the second Holy Roman Empire, right after his father Charlemagne. Uh last Carolingian um emperor. I believe the sec uh, the second off aptly named Augustus. Very nice in there. He was um he did he was in the Anglo-Gallic Wars. Um, Philip the Fourth of France, still early early medieval coinage. Um, here's Charles the Eighth, one who invaded Italy. So I've already shown you Francis the First of France. There's another Francis the First coin of his, double Taurus. Here's um, Louis the Thirteenth. I couldn't really find anything on this coin. Some say it's from Canada. Some say it's not from Canada. It was minted for the actual country of France. But I just got it in a collector's pile. So yeah. Um, this one, however, though, is uh, for uh, the colony of New France. Uh, the viceroyalty of uh, uh, New France was. Um, now encompassed Canada and Louisiana, um, so but they did not have an, any official coinage there. Um, they did have official coinage in the Caribbean, but in the like continent of, of New France, um, they did not. So what they did was in a, um, a declaration, I think it was in 1696, they d and they would agree that they would take old silver coins that had been used and like a lot of their silver worn down, they would take those coins, they would make a counter stamp, and then ship those off to the New World to be used as the coinage of, of, of uh, the Viceroyalty of New France. So this one right here is of Louis the Fourteenth. It's a, um, I believe it's a 15 denaires. And as you can see right here, on, right there, that right there is the counter stamp because now I, so this is in New France. So now that's how I know that this is actually a coinage to be used in the New World. All right, here's a young bust of uh, Louis the Fourteenth. He's the you know famous one for um, all his wars, his, um, his magnificent Palace of Versailles, which I got to visit a couple of years ago, which I so glad I was able to. Um, I have another silver coin of Louis the Fourteenth coming in. It's a half ecu, which is like fifteen grams. Um, here's a much older bust of him because Louis was like the second oldest reigning monarch in history. He ruled like eighty eight years. So that's the older bust of those. 1676. All right, here's um, one, uh, one to recognize. Um, this one's Henry VIII. 
you know, the, uh, for his, you know, at least six divorces, uh, but also modernizing the na modernizing the nation by uh, building up the um, the navy of of, of um, England. So on the front is Henry VIII. This is half grove, by the way. On the back is a shield with a cross. And there's like a little key mark right there. There's like a key. And that means that it was minted at York under Archbishop Lee, who replaced um, Archbishop Wolsey. So like a, per a famous person minted at his famous mint with a famous person on the face of the coin, which is really cool. All right. Here's another of uh, Henry VIII, but this one is interesting because um, it was minted not by him, uh, Henry VIII, but by his son, Edward VI. Um, this was uh, this is a postmas issue, meaning that it was minted after his death. So on the front, the face is Henry VIII, and on the back, it's pretty much the same with a shield and cross. Um, this is also a half grow. This one is minted in Dublin, Ireland. So that's kind of cool. Here's Elizabeth the first. This is a penny, very tiny silver coin. This is minted in London. Here's a cross. And here's a groat. This is this I got for only five dollars. Um, they just had the name Medieval Coin on it, and I incidentally recognized what it was, so I got it for five dollars. Pretty nice. You can't really tell the face of Elizabeth the first on it, but you can read the legends around it. And um, I know the exact year this is minted because it says. 1566 on it, shield, and so cross over it. Really nice, you know. Um, here's Lucca. I actually got to visit the city of Lucca, which was really cool. Um, their coins are just, they're like that always, like, you know, bumpy and serrated. They really don't have any, like, shape or form to their coins, so. Um, this right here kind of broke apart because of silver crystallization. This is from Milan. A, um, Milan states, I believe, at this time of uh, in 1039 to 1125, I believe that was Lombardy, the state of Lombardy. Um, and this is um, minted in the name of Henry III, fourth or fifth of Holy Roman Empire. There's Sicily, under Frederick II as Holy Roman Emperor. Kind of hard to tell. That's got a cool patina. Um, Here's Ferdinand I of Naples, not of um, Aragon or Spain. People get confused sometimes between Ferdinand um, of Naples and Ferdinand of Aragon um, because they were both lived at the same time and they both had like the, uh, the same uh, family branches of, of, of lineage. So, but um, this is like very small, but it actually was a huge coin. The clip, they clipped a lot of it already so far. Um, a nice beautiful cross on it. So yeah. This one I just found was just a fleck of dirt and turned out it was like a as a coin from uh, Florence. It's a copper coin from Florence. You really can't tell anything more, but um, I do have another coin of Florence. This was minted from by a money named Ludigi Ganini um, in the second semester of seventeen uh, sorry in uh, 1477. Um, I just put who was the ruler of Florence at that time. That was Lorenzo the Magnificent. So there's the Fleur de Lis, silver grosso coin. The back is John the Baptist. And you can tell which uh, which uh, money year and which year by the shield. This is the royal crest of the money year. And on the L is Ludovico. All right, I have uh, Pope, uh, Pope Paul III. Um, famous for the Council of Trent and also getting into a battle with Henry VIII over divorce. So there's there's the Apostle Paul and or Peter, I believe, actually holding the keys to the city. And then there is the uh, the royal, uh, I mean the the crest of the whole of the holy bishop of Rome. So uh, Parma, I can't really actually find the actual uh, exact date for it, but. Just got it with a couple other coins. Venice. These are like later years for Venice. Papal States. This is Clement. The, I believe that means the 11th or the 9th. Uh, St. Peter on the front and I'll crest on the back. Uh, 
Otto the Third of the Holy Roman Emperor. He was grandson of the Otto the First or Otto the Great, who reestablished the Holy Roman Empire after its um, dissolution. So this is in the, in the diocese of Mites, Germany. Here's Regensburg, and uh, under Duke Otto the Third. A lot of these. And it's interesting because a lot of the um, medieval coins are issued by the um, bishops because they had them, they required the most money, so they are the ones that issued all those all the coins. There, yeah, there's a bishop on the front. Um, these are brackets. They're like thin silver coins, and they're meant to be broken so they can be returned back to the mint and be recycled. They uh, they wanted them to break so they can get silver back um, and into the hands of the others. So they wanted to turn.